hi all so today we are going to create an interface so last time uh, uh, we have created one CDT so this is the CDT and with the help of this CDT we will create a new interface so to create a new interface we'll go to new and we'll click on the interface and here we will give the interface name as user data and we'll give mm, to an interface to capture user data and we'll click on create so it will open in a new tab and from here okay so now it has opened so <coughs> there are two ways to create interfaces either you can choose your own forms as well or you can also use one builder is there so we'll see how to create from builders and from our rule input also we will be able to create an interfaces so first let's see how to create from builder so first option is report builder we don't want a report we want from data type so we'll click on our data type okay and here we have to search our data type so as you can see the data type name is ys test table will search our data type ys test so here you can see ys test table data type has been selected we'll click on generate and see automatically an interface has been generated for me and it has all the uh, fields which are present in my CDT automatically all those fields have came so this is one way like you can easily and quickly connect and it will work uh, fine you don't need to do any other uh, configuration in that so even if you are giving some name as Andrew the phone number you are giving something so everything will work fine so it is the way of creating this so email ID something you can give Andrew at the red gmail.com so that will also work and second straight so something you can write it so everything is fine and if you click on submit we can view the details as well all these details will get saved into our rule inputs so this was one way of creating CDT uh, interface from CDT now what we will do we will generally <coughs> other way is like we will create by our own form and there we will add all the details one by one so most of the time this is more useful if it is a big interface okay so first of all we'll delete our form and here we will write user data and in two sections are there we don't need two sections one will be more than enough okay so in that section let me take column so in one column what we will do we will add name email id phone number and in second column we will add address and pin code so we'll take a text box and in this way we will add we'll duplicate this we'll duplicate this as well okay so for first text field we will add name and after name we had email id so here we will have email id email email id and here we will have our phone number phone number in the next tab we can go and put our text fields in here and in this text field in first text field we want to have address so address I want I don't want to store in a text will have a paragraph layout will store into a paragraph okay let me adjust it here yeah fine so in this paragraph we will add address and for this one we will add pin code pin code ok yeah. 
so this is the way we have added now we want to save all our data now if you write something so even if I write something as test it won't take that value so we need to add rule inputs so you can go to here either you can add individual rule inputs or you can directly from the data type you can add it so for example I am adding rule input as user data and in the data type I will select my CDT that is YS test so I have selected my CDT from here okay and we'll click on create so now we will map each uh, text box to the value so name is a text field and we'll go to name and from here display value also we can choose which value to display and we can choose here name and for save into we'll save it name so this is one way like from here as well you can add it or you can go to the expression mode and from there as well you can add it for example if we are adding for email id let's add from here value will be rule input user data give a dot notation and after that you will get all things this is email id will go for email id and in this way save into user data dot email id similarly we will add for others as well for phone number as well we'll add rule input user data dot phone number and again user data and phone number so these are the things that we can manage and address was also there so let's quickly add for address as well rule input user data dot address rule input user data dot address and for pin code so pin code is like in number field and we have stored in a text field okay so we can no issues we can still use the value part here rule input user data dot pin code and user data dot pin code yeah so this is all that's that's what needs to be added so this is these are the ways you can create your uh, you can create your interfaces so directly we are saving the value here now if we give any value here so automatically for example if we take any for example Bob and email ID give Bob one two three at the red gmail dot com so that will get updated so here you can see all this value will get saved into this phone number if we are trying to write so uh, some phone number also we can write it an address second second street something like this we can add it LA and pin code as well we can give something like this so all values will get updated now if you want to add some validations for the name or for the address field that also you can add so in our table some text fields are there for example name so name can contain only 20 so to add validations as well uh, there are uh, you can do it uh, from the design mode as well APN has given one functionality for it go to scroll down and from here you can see character limit is there so you can specify here character limit for example maximum 20 character we can accept so we'll give a character limit of 20 okay so now it will say only three so this you can show or not that is fine with you and let's try to give more character length uh, let's try to add for uh, test for more than 20 characters so uh, okay now we have given maybe more than 20 characters so it will it will uh, show a validation message like this the text cannot be longer than 20 character 56 characters received so this is one way of adding validation so you can add it let's uh, go to expression mode and we'll add validation in second uh, for second fields as well what else we have we have for example one is 12 phone number so we'll go to phone number 
this is our phone number so we'll go to validations and from here we will write a condition like if if we'll write it length of this is a length function if length of rule input user data dot phone number is greater than 12 so this is my condition of will after the condition so if it is greater than 12 we will display a message to the user that phone number cannot be greater than 12 characters yeah fine and if this condition if this condition is false then we uh, don't want to do anything so in order to display null you can write null as well or you can just give this quotes as well so that will also work see here phone number is greater than 12 characters so it is like to so if it is true okay I guess if it is greater than 12 so let's see this one is giving this and we'll check for let's then so let us check for this four characters so I guess we let's switch the conditions if it is true okay okay I have not put the condition well so let me just edit this condition if length is greater than 12 it should be condition should be like this yeah fine now we'll write till 12 character 1 2 3 so this is 12 character so till 12 character it is fine if we give any 13th character then it this it will say like phone number cannot be greater than 12 characters so in this way like you can add validations for rest of the field as well so either you can go to the design view for example in name field if we write something like this and uh, something like this so okay so you you will have a message like this displayed which can be automatically done with the help of design mode or you can write your own specific validation message with the help of validations field as well so these are the ways so we'll just save our interfaces uh, in next uh, we in next we will see how to use this interface in our process model and how to save data into our database that's it for now okay thank you all bye